Yo, what's up everybody? I'm your boy Freddy Beats, aka Bongo Clap, because I play the bongos and I clap at the same time. Yeah man, today we have a really special guest. Yo, what's up everybody? I'm your boy Freddy Beats. This is the SBX Late Show. Today we have a really special guest. I think it's, it's a lot of things here. He's one of the nicest guys in the beatbox community, probably in the entire world. He's, uh, he's coming from the USA. He's a member of the Beatbox House. He's the Acapella Open Champ, the GBB Champ, the American Champ, and the World Champ. Give it up for Jin Sinosaki! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So nice to see Chris, everyone today. Chris. Oh wait. Chris. Oh. 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 That was good. How are you, my good, friend? Man. I'm How good. I'm good. I'm good. I can be. I can feel the salt. I can feel the salt already. Listen, listen, Chris. We are good I friends. Can be, I can be Jean today. No, no, no. We won't, Chris. Listen. This. <laughs> <laughs> I could just do it for a little more. <laughs> no, no, just keep it, just keep it there, just Are keep it sure? there. Yes, yes. Uh, it's Chris Elise, of course. Woo! This, yes, give it up for Chris. Come on. Yeah! Of, of course, this this joke has a reason, you know, and it's uh, <laughs> and, and it's the first question. Yes. You know, how tired are you that people ask for jeans in Osaki? Man, I'm uh! tired, bro. <laughs> I'm uh! tired. I'm a person too. If you're watching this on the internet. I understand, I understand. I'm like Gene's keeper, all right? I'm talking to you right now. You're watching this right now. I know you're like, hey, hey, hey. Chris isn't as good as Gene and he doesn't deserve <laughs> It's fine, I get it. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. Gene's one of my best friends in the entire world, but I'm not just a beatboxer, I'm a musician. I have a life outside of it and I love the things that I do. And I love making music with Gene. I'm not just Gene's manager or his keeper. We have a lot of fun together. So if yeah. you wanna just hit me up, on the DM, we can talk. I love all of you, so thank yeah, you man. for all. Ah! Jean, but we <laughs> no, but we, but we, no, 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 but we Woo! love, but, but we love Jean anyway. So he knows this. He knows this. But uh, today is Chrysalis Day. Give it up for him one more time. Come on, Woo! come on. Yeah! Gene, Gene, we love you. Don't take it personal. People have just been asking because you are so, 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 such a great artist. But <laughs> well, not so great for some people around here. But yeah. <laughs> you won this a cappella open competition. Yes. You just went there, people were like, oh, let's make a cappella, a cappella contest. Everybody was like, ta -da, ta -da, ta. you just went with the, you know, and yeah. probably, with Jean. <laughs> yeah, went with Jean. <laughs> and probably destroy everybody. Yeah. Uh, I know you have a crazy stage presence. How did it go there? Did, you, you guys could feel that the energy that you put out there, it was completely different to the rest of a cappella groups. Yeah, I think what w was really interesting when Gene and I decided to do this, we were like, yo, it was after we won world champs. I was like, yo, they have this new competition. Uh, and the group a couple years ago that won it the first time, there were four people. And then three people the next year won uh, this group called uh, Iris. And the group before that was uh, Women of the World. And they were a four-person group. Then there was a three-person group, which was Iris. And then I was like, oh man, a duo has to win. And how cool would it be if we won one of the biggest acapella competitions uh, on earth, you know? And yeah. it ha happens at Carnegie Hall. It's like, let's just try it. Let's practice. So we practiced for a whole year and then <laughs> we won. <laughs> you won 25, yeah. 25K, which yes. is crazy. I don't yeah. know after tax, what, what is that? But, <laughs> 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 but I think, I mean, as a prize of a competition, mm. uh, we are really far from that. Like, uh, there is a lot of investment into this competition. We, we hope we can get to that, you know? We will mm -hmm. make somebody's career, somebody's day. And you think next year you will go alone just to keep the thing, you know? Like, first four people, <laughs> three people, two people, and then just Chris, Chris Elise. <laughs> Hello, my, my, my group is Chrysalis. <laughs> that would be hilarious if it was. Uh, yeah, it was, it'd either be Gene or I. Yeah, uh, one, yeah, one of yeah, both. Yeah, one yeah, of yeah, both. for sure. Oh, that's cool, man. I would say that you are one of a kind as a human. Uh, you are a, r really a crowd hyper. Uh, we talk about this. You are a really great person to have at any event. Oh, in thank a, you. A, as an as a audience. Um, which is the place that you found it was like the most difficult audience? Or, 
let's take the worst audience that you play for. The worst audience? I'll yeah. tell you a great story. When I was in college, so a lot, a lot of people don't know this, but I studied how to play clarinet. Okay. All the way through university, and that's what I got my degree in. All right. So I was on stage. We had this uh, thing we did every week where we were working on the pieces that we were practicing with, with our teacher, and then we show everybody. I remember getting on stage, and I started playing this piece for my senior recital, and in the middle of the piece, in my mind, I said, I'm going to give up, and then I did. I literally, I was like, and I was like, this is too hard. And then I stopped and I looked at everyone and I was like, I quit. And then I left, I left. And then nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. They did this. No. Yeah. And then uh, my teacher made me get back on stage. And then one of my friends put her hand up. And she's like, you know, what you shouldn't do is give up on yourself. And I was like, that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. I have a tendency to do that over time, but that was one of the biggest lessons for me too. Yeah, for Not sure, to, for sure. You know, apart apart from this, mm. uh, and talking about crowds, mm. what tips would you give to an audience to be a good audience? Uh, to, to because give... it's not about you. Now you're talking about th that you gave up, but I'm yeah. talking about them. The about crowd. them not being good enough. Yeah, you the, know? the crowd. Yes, you guys. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. But sometimes it happens that it's not about us. It's yeah. about them. They just boring crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens. Okay. It happens. Yes or no, crowd? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, if I don't you know. say no, you well, can no. go for Okay, people. okay. That's... Let's say, let's say, what what do you have what do you have to do to be a good audience member? Let's put it that way. Well, you know, well, for what I what I believe, I don't think it's the audience members job to like laugh at what happens on there okay that's that's what the performer is there for that so if sense. i'm that not doing sense. if i'm not doing a good job and they're not like laughing and having a good yeah. time then i'm then i'm the one who's not serving them you that know makes what I'm sense saying? yeah Azúcar? Sí. but i tell you a story of mine okay i was once in <laughs> i was once in a i was one, once in a festival and mm. everybody was high as mm. literally super high I was doing jokes that every time kill, and the, the most I got from them was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really bad crowd. <laughs> and it was not about me, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know what you mean, you know? And, and I, think, I think what you have is you just love everything. Even if it's a sports event, or even if it's a beatbox event, or ballet uh, show, you will be there like, Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they exactly. go like, "Oh, thank you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's about the people too, you know. Sometimes I think that the crowd could could be a bit, a bit better, but they have to be also natural. No? Yeah. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there, because you mentioned the clarinet. I wanna, I wanna ask you because you also play saxophone, right? Yes. I want to ask you to, to rate my saxophone impression <laughs> one okay. out of ten, okay? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you see what I'm talking about? Shitty crowds. <laughs> and this <coughs> happened now. No, it, I just sound, I thought you were gonna keep going. Ah, well, well, that, that was that was just my my. I don't I don't know what I was gonna do. I <laughs> ah, because you went into the full yeah. bar. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so take a point from 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 there. No, it's still good. I just yeah. wanted okay. you to finish. <laughs> should, I, should I do it fully? Yeah, do the full thing. <clears throat> Same as you, I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I 
give up on that one, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I understand. One out of ten, like, what? Rate it, yes. How good is it? That one? Yeah. Specifically? Which saxophone do you think it is? Like? I think it's like an alto saxophone. Alto saxophone. It's, it's a nice like saxophone. Really yeah. Big one, no? Yeah, no, well, it's kind of like the mid size one. Oh, I, I. You know, have like the Kenny G, the soprano, and then you have the alto and then tenors. Yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. I'm good with that. Oh. I'm good with I that. I mean, yes. you, a you asked the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Okay. <sighs> Chris. Yeah. We're getting to a point. Okay. Uh, I gotta bring up some secrets. Oh shit. You have to tell me who is NYC Beatbox. Oh fuck! <laughs> I knew this shit was gonna happen. Why did you ask me this question? <laughs> What's good? NYC Beatbox. Big shout out. Oh, you want me to answer it right <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, mean, I mean, when you ask a question, you, you, you kind of want to know. No, I know, but I just didn't know. I thought there was more to Okay. No, okay, so, okay. I can read you the full question. Okay, yes, please. NC Beatbox. And NYC Beatbox was your first beatboxer name. Yes. When you decide to change it to the original that you have now, how long it took to, to make up your new name? Okay, so fun, <laughs> fun, <laughs> fun, fun fact. Okay. So when, when I was 15 and I first did humanbeatbox.com, shout out to Tight. Hi, 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 Mike, Mike, hi, Nate, Nate, S, S, Tight, 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 what, what's your... Yeah, man, shout out! <laughs> I saw I saw his uh, his tutorials too. Back yeah, in the day. yeah, exactly. That's how I started learning, right? Yeah. I was like, man, I need an avatar name, and I was like, I'm from New York, That's and right. I also beatbox. Yeah. So like, NYC beatbox, right? But that was just the name on the forum. But that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, I I I don't have a problem with the name. I mean, yeah. my name is Freddie Beats. Yeah. It's like I am Freddie. I do beats. Yeah. So it was kind of the same the it, shitty it, decision. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I kept with it. <laughs> you just move on with your real name. Which, <laughs> which well, makes sense. Yeah. You know? Well, what's, uh, what happened was I entered my first beatboxing competition, the American Beatbox Championships, and then I, be, I came in last place in the seating, I remember. Yeah. But then I needed a name to enter. But I was, I was like, oh, Chris Lee, that's kind of like a, oh, that's too, like, you know. Yeah, formal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it was too formal. So I was like, uh, I guess I could just use NYC Beatbox. And they announced it for the first time, like, ugh. It was so cringy, you know and what I mean? Just stopped, right? And you No, 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 and I just kept going with it. For how long? For, uh, just probably, like, five years. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't have the, like, I, the ball was already rolling, and I was like, oh, man. Okay, okay. But then my friend Mike, he was the one who was like, man, your name is super dope, and you're more than just a beatboxer, so use your real name. And I was like, man, for real? I was like, yeah. No, no he was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. So I, I decided to change it to my regular name. Well, that's 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 cool. Let's try to help out somebody mm. that is going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, some beatboxers. Hello, guys. How are you doing? You talking to me? Oh my god. Yeah, I just broke the fourth wall in a second. Sorry, Chris. No, it's okay. Hello, beatboxers. You might have been thinking about your name, your beatbox name, your nickname, Chris Ellis is going to give you one idea. First one, take it, is for you. What, what name it would be cool for a beatboxer? I think you should use your own name. Here's why. You are the only person in the world who has your name. So, if you are the only person in the world who has your name, that means the style that you have in the world. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron Barner. Uh, <laughs> You could have your own unique style that, uh, you know what? Never mind. Yeah. Forget. Yes. <laughs> Don't do that. Yes. 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 Look, you know what? look, I, 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 I finished, Chris. Yes. Just, just put the city and then beats and or, that's it. You know? or, <laughs> yeah, that. or you could put effects. You could put effects after your name. Yeah. You can you put know. beats effects. Like yeah, yeah, just yeah. put all you, you heard before, put it all together. Yeah. Uh, something like. Uh, boom bass effects <laughs> beats, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> because effects. because you know bongo clap is already is already taken, you know? Yeah. But, <laughs> but Chris. Yes. Are you feliz? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, that's some Spanish right there. I was like, I don't know if he's gonna get the joke. Uh, you guys didn't, so yeah. Uh, props to you. Thanks. Are you happy, bro? Yeah. 
Ah, you know for the song, Feliz Navidad, no? Yeah, exactly, right. How happy are you? Like, I'm pretty, pretty great right now. Are you asking me on a scale? On a scale, yeah, let's, let's put scales to like things. A, like a 10. Like a 10? Yeah, but it could be like a 10 out of like 100. But it's not, it's 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. Well, Chris. <laughs> It just threw me off a bit when you say it could be around a hundred, and then I was worried. Maybe he inside he's not Chris Feliz. You know? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. I know you're a competitive person. Oh, shit. Everything that you play, yeah. you know, as soon as somebody tells you you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your instant reaction? Ah! them dude i don't give a that's what i have to say tell me that i can't do something give me a, a set amount of time i'll do it dude that's what i have you see that shit i'll do that you you watch it right now you tell me i can't do something I'll right here right now let's go chris uh, can you sing uh, yeah <laughs> yeah you see he can do it he wasn't lying yeah proving my point chris yeah Parkour was an important part oh, of your life. Man. <laughs> why did you do, why are you doing this to me? Because I'm jam jumping through questions. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you with parkour? Like how how this, no this happened? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You so have when, a little scar. You can see oh, it there on the camera. Yeah. If yeah. you can zoom in, see this right here. When I was 17, I was practicing parkour in the back of my school gymnasium. Right, and I took yoga mats and I. You, put, you pile them up. Yeah, yeah. I piled them up because I needed to practice my vaults. My King Kong vault was like, right? I go, and then like I would, you know, like, just, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So on one of them, I like, I went, and then there was a wall. It was like, ah! and it just appeared out of nowhere, right? There was, the wall, the wall wasn't just there. was like, Whoa. and I was like, oh my God. Bleh. And then my arm came out and went, Boop, and it went, gah, gah. and then my arm was like, Tee -tee. And then I looked at it, and then my eyes like. <laughs> and then I was like, man, I'm not going to English today. <laughs> and I guess, come on, guys. Come on. I had to tell you one thing that is really, really important uh, okay. that you know, okay. that you don't expect, but. When I was doing this show, when I was building this show for the first time, I, I was a couple of months putting together a document to kind of, uh, to kind of do a pilot episode. Okay. Oh. And, uh, and I did a picture of, of uh, how I would like that the show looks, hmm. or how, how I'm thinking of it. And I'm just going to sh share with you the picture that, that I did, okay? okay? And this is true. One year ago, I came up with the idea of The Late Show. And this was the picture who made me get the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I hate oh you. God. That's good. That's good. You you really, that was really the picture. That was really the picture for real, man. Wow. For real. Oh my God. For real. That was the picture that I started this, uh, that I put together to start the show. That's great. Uh, I put my best Photoshop uh, skills. It was very you, good. To put this together. And I thought I, I would share it with you that you were the first person coming into my, my head that mm -hmm. I would interview and I would, and I put your face there to represent what I would like. So now, as you can see, this picture, <laughs> Is us right now. <laughs> true, it's happening. It's right true, now. it's happening. Let's put the same face. Okay, you have to go like this to, to that side. You know? And I have to do like this. Okay, okay. okay. Well, right, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just for the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Great. Thank you, man. Yeah, you're welcome. We're going to move on to the musical part of the show. Chris, oh, shit. I know it was your birthday. You are 31 now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I wanna and I wanna change it up and sing a happy birthday to somebody that probably will be, will be watching this at some point. It could be tomorrow, after tomorrow, the other day, and just take this video. You can cut it and 
for you, no? like a birthday card for them. And I wanted to sing some happy birthday with some different artists. Let's say how it would be to hear happy birthday from artists that we all know. I want you to start with your imagination to see what you can do. I want a version of Michael Jackson, happy birthday. <laughs> Dude, really they're gonna love it. They're gonna send this to you somebody. Can't, you can't put that out. Creams, I love that song, Creams. I love that beat. I love it, Creams. Okay, let me do let me do one version for you. Okay, Chris. go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Can you play some some funky for me? James Brown? Uh, yeah. James Brown. <laughs> James Brown <laughs> um uh, can I do this? Uh let's see. Uh, could you do a Tupac version? <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, you could just beatbox for this one. Happy birthday! Did you know that my name used to be NYCMC? That's true, look it up on Google. It's true, look it up on Google. Did you know that I'm a Gemini? I'm a Gemini, I'm a Gemini. And that's what I do and I ride or die. I'm a Gemini. A Tupac with the West Coast, even though I'm from the East Coast. From the West Coast. Happy birthday, mother. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap. Clap. Let's grab. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I feel like his spirit is, is yeah. a clock, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Death Row, West Side. Uh, let's finish this. Can you do a snoop? Snoop. Okay. We, we start again. Okay. Yeah. This is the SBS Lane Show. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, smoking on the birthday, yeah, smoking on on the wee wee. Oh, happy birthday, yeah, with the happy birthday for Chris, yeah, give it up for Chris Ellis, he came, he's a bit more feliz, yeah. Listen, Chris, for the last question. I know that when you try to write some lyrics, it takes your romantic side, you know, you start writing, you get a bit more, you know, kind of thinking about love, a bit intense, romantic. What would be the top tips for a love song? Like For a love song? Yeah, for a love song, just to, to help uh, our crowd. Uh, well, you have to either a, pretend that you're in love and write about what it's like to be in that position. Okay. Or write from a personal experience of being in love. That's right. That's it. It's really simple. Well, it's really simple, guys. I mean, you have to... You have... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> listen, listen to uh, me. Um, who the uh, are you? Uh, I'm Ke um, today. I mean. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, you. I am. Um, <laughs> Where did you get this? I uh, uh, calm down. I'm, I am. <laughs> Cupido, the French lover. Cupido, the French lover. <laughs> and and I know, I know everything about love. Mm. Okay. 
<laughs> Do you? <laughs> Do I what? <laughs> Okay, la last time, last time I, I was uh, with, my, with my friend okay. and he was telling me, yeah, I, I really like you. I was like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, <it's>, um, <laughs> <laughs> bad. Um, I bad. I came here for you because I have a very important... <laughs> <laughs> important game for you. Okay. Uh, this is not a simple game. This is to know about real love. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. The game is very simple. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. You are? Yeah. I will sing for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you will have to tell me if that's a real music or i if it is not a music. <laughs> okay. Or if it is maybe from me. Okay? No, from me. From <laughs> me. No, from <laughs> Okay. So what you saying? Yes, so we understand. You're going to sing a song and Chris has to tell if it's a real song or a song that you made up. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, first it's love. Okay. Thank Amour you. In French. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> when I look into your eyes, I see the ocean wide. When I look into your heart, <laughs> I know we will never fall apart. So? <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, is it a real song or is a, it's a made-up song? Well, it sounds like it's a real poem. I don't know if it's a song yet. You need lyrics. Uh, and, I mean, you need a melody. And I, need... I said song, not poem. <laughs> so it's not a song then, then it's a poem. It's a love poem. It's, it's... Is it? It's not the song. No. From my heart. <laughs> uh, you wrote this? You Maybe. wrote? Yeah? I had some help from my friend who told me everything last day. Okay. okay. Um, this is not a song you lost. No, okay, wait. Uh, it's yes, not a song. thank you. Uh, You're up with the poem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, second. Chris. Chris. <laughs> Why are you on one knee? Say, if it is a song or not, not a poem. If you win, you will win the best thing ever, ever in the life of the life. <laughs> okay? Let's go with the second. Music. His lips looking thick, he's fine, I don't mind. I can't stop looking at his dick, it even shines for the blind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is, is, that, like is, is that Cardi B? Is that? I don't know, I'm asking you. I can tell. Well, I mean, you, so tell. it's a real song or not, Chris? Yeah, it's a real, that's a real song. Of course it is not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you not? made this up? You made this up? No, no way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Come on, that was high one. That was high one. Stop it. Okay, Max, one more, eh? Because, one more? because we're okay. not learning Wait, anything about love. Wait, that last one, that one, that, that, you wrote that? Yes. Wow. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, last one, last okay. one. Short. Last one. Okay. Let me put my love into you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cut my cake with your knife. <laughs> 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 Let me cut my cake with your cake. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this is, I don't know, it all sounds real. It's real to me at it this is? point. You yeah. Think? You're sure? I because, think so. I mean, it is from ACDC. Let me put my love into you. Yeah, it's a real song. Yeah. Wow. Actually, yeah. we, we can say that you won because the first he said it's a poem, so not a song, and it was not a song. That's true. So you deserved it. Chris, Celis, will you ma I, marry, marry me? <laughs> can I, 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 yeah, I don't have money for the ring. <laughs> do I do I have to answer you listen, now? Listen, 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 listen. Let's let's go. No, bro. Let's take it. You come. You did first. You didn't teach you shit you about love. You said you now, yes. listen, yes, Max. You did. No, you say the. Uh, He's got a girlfriend. You are like making awkward here on stage. Yeah. Okay. Max. 
Thank you very much, Cupid, French, French Cupid. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Man. My Come mail on. is cupido dot <laughs> cupido <laughs> dot cupido dot com. Cupido <laughs> <laughs> dot I got you the dot com. Dot cupido dot. Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> <What the heck? laughs> you, you you gave me this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Can uh, I radio, I can keep radio, it? Radio, no, yeah, I have to think about it. Okay, do. Uh, <laughs> do I have do I have yes. to answer? It's either yes or no right now. Yeah, yes or yes, yes. What if I need some time? Uh, yes. I need time. Yeah. Chris, Chris, teach him about love that needs time. Tell him, let him know because he's a bit See, young. This is, this is a symbol of our commitment to each other. And yes. I just met you, Cupid. I know you've been doing this for hundreds of years, but at the same time, I don't know if I could be married to a God of love because what happens is you're going to fall in love with somebody else very soon. So I don't think I can do this. Oh. Oh. Max, that's it. You heard. There is no more trying. No is no. That's it for today. I always prefer Jim. Round of applause for Max, please. Oh. Anyway, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for no, this okay. interview. Yeah. Um, guys, the moment came. It's not just an interview. We're here to prove something. We're here to prove ourselves as beatboxers. The moment came, Chris. Okay. How long can you roll? How long can you roll? In the episode we did with Napalm, mm -hmm. he tried. We told him he did better than the last time. Mm -hmm. I checked. It wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> time! <What>? Time! <laughs> he actually did one second less. <laughs> oh, really? I just tried to play it nice so he had a good time. But, <laughs> but Chris, you think you can go over this? Like I will do what I can right you now. You cannot do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Why did you say that? <laughs> okay, you mother... Chris, let's go. Three, two, you can practice one, eh? No? Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. And I tried listen, to recover listen, it and then it kept moving. Like the recovery that you did there. <laughs> the recovery. Did, by the way, it started moving. By and the I was way, like, you no, did 20, you have to 20, come 20, back. 2433, okay? Okay. That is sick. That you, are, you are in our top, that's for sure. Because there is not many people. But you're many, no <laughs> many people. Dude, that's not good, dude. Did you hear my 24 second? seconds? Yeah, but is it? Did you hear Can you do that? Of course not. <laughs> listen. And, and I know people are saying, yeah, I can do that longer. The official is on the late show. Like what you doing? It's not official. It's like the it's like the the world record, Guinness world record. <laughs> yeah. You are in your house. Hey, look, I can do longer. Than you have to have the Guinness people there. Yeah, that's true. With, I don't know yeah. if they have beard with them or <laughs> how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to have them. Chris, thank you very much for being with us. But as we say, you are nice. I imagine you also have a mm, dark side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because we are about to do beef time! Chris, oh. a beatboxer that you battled before, a beatboxer that you won a battle. Please send a message, that's your camera, and finish this episode on a high note. Chris Elise, who you gonna throw beef to? Why did you say this out loud? Why did you say this out loud? Yo, Spencer, what is up, oh. my dude? Okay. So I know you've been having a really difficult time with the scene. I support you. 
and everything that you are doing, but you gotta come back. And if you're gonna have these 50 million followers, you gotta come and you gotta earn your keep in the scene. I know you're doing your LA thing and you're in your crib, but remember we came up together and it was super dope that you were doing your, uh, you know, you're doing your thing now, but if you wanna contribute and say that you rep New York like you do, you gotta come back in the scene and give back. Cause I know you're talking about it online, but you're not doing much. Whoa! So, I love you. No. You're doing a lot for yourself and it's great. It's fine. And you can do that. You can do that. And I appreciate everything that you've been doing to put the culture out in the front. But really, if you're going to do it, you got to be about more than yourself. Okay? You got to come back and you got to contribute to everybody else because this art is super dope. And if you want to be super dope and part of it, you got to come back to the scene and contribute too. It's not just about being like pretending to say that you're the best with the followers. You got to come and show it. So, that's my invitation to you. If you want, you know, if you just want to come out and just hang and talk, we could do that. But, you know, I'll see you soon. Wow. Yes, man. Um, wow. <laughs> I think that was the best uh, beef time we had. I think the crowd will agree with us. This is what we made for something healthy, healthy beef. Spencer. What's up, everybody? Chris had a message for you. Hope you took it in. With all due respect, this is the SBX Lay Show. I'm your boy, Freddy Beats. Chris Elise was here, was here with us. Thank you, everybody, for joining. See you in the next one. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't.